And there is another method, another method of storing a graph, which is called the matrix method. So the idea with the matrix method is we have a matrix uh, whose dimensions are the number of cells. So we have a 10 cell graph. So 10 cell graph gives us a 10 by 10 matrix. Each cell represents if there is a connection from the row cell to the column cell. So what does that mean? If cell uh, 10, 0 is 1, is true, that means that you can get from cell 10 to cell 0. But if cell 0, 10 is false, you can't go back. There might be some other path you can take to go back, but there is no direct connection between these two nodes. So the list-like representation is good when there are few connections. So in like the map example, right, a cell is likely to only connect to its four or eight neighbors. If you have 100 cells and each cell only connects to four neighbors, it doesn't connect to 96 other neighbors, right? So the matrix representation would have a lot of zeros and would be wasting a lot of space. But when the scales, the cells have a lot of connections, so say you have five nodes and all five of them connect to every other node, the matrix representation starts being better because you don't have the added overhead of managing lists on every node.